Rui Lopez opening, Berlin defense, 4.d3 bc5. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. White overpowered Black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. Nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. d3 protects the e4 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. bc5 develops the bishop, attacks the f2 pawn and prepares castling. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is a fair deal after all captures. Recaptures. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is the last book move. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. Very precise. It is best. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is quite good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This reveals an attack that poses a threat to a rook. It is ideal. This blocks the attack on a rook that could have been captured. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. There is a better way to get a knight to safety than this. It is incorrect. The pawn is now adequately defended. This is the only good move. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. This threatens to play checkmate. It is a great move. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is ideal. Thus, a knight is lost. It is incorrect. Among the best actions. It is quite good. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. That gets you a knight. It is ideal. 
the knight is thus brought to safety. It is quite good. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is ideal. This strikes the rival queen. It is quite good. This moves the queen to safety. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is excellent. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. It is ideal. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is quite good. This exposes a pawn attack. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. This avoids the pawn's check. It is ideal. Recaptures, from a previous move. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. It is quite good. This is how you attract a knight. It is ideal. Thus, a forced checkmate is possible. It is incorrect. This checks the opposing king with two pieces at once. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. White overpowered black in the middle game.